Now today we're going to solve a question on trigonometry. The question is let x and y be two real numbers such that 2 sin of x sin y plus 3 cos y plus 6 cos of x sin y is equal to 7. There are x and y real which is satisfying this given equation and for the same x and y you have to calculate 10 square of x plus 2 10 square y. So if you normally solve this it will take a lot of time but I'm going to give you an entirely new approach. Okay, without even seeing the method, if you try to solve, you'll never get the idea. But this is a very new method. Okay, so let's say I'm taking one vector from my side. That is, let's say 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 6k k cap. From this, I'm taking from my side. Now, I'll tell you why I'm taking as a vectors. Okay, and let's say vector 2 is sine of x, sine y, i cap plus cos y, j cap plus cos x sin y k cap now let's calculate the modulus of mod of v1 here so mod of v1 of this vector will be root over 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 square now i think it will be root over 49 as you can see here so root over 49 is 7 so mod of v1 is 7 similarly i'm going to calculate mod of v2 so mod of v2 will be root over you will get sine square of x multiplied by sine square y plus cos square y multiplied by plus sorry plus cos square of x and then sine square of y here and root over here now from first and last term i think i can take sine square y common from the first and last term as you can see so i'm going to take sine square y common as you can see in the inside the bracket, it will be sine square x and cos square x. So sine square x plus cos square x will be 1. And remaining term is this term that is cos square y. Now again sine square y plus cos square y will be equal to 1. So mod of v2 here is equal to 1. Now I got mod of v1 v1 and v2 that is 7 and 1. Now I'm going to solve this in the next slide. Now after finding mod of v1 is 7 and mod of v2 is equal to 1, I would just want to show you something which will blow your mind. That is to take try taking v1 dot v2 for a moment so i dot i will be you will get this as 2 sine of x sine y plus j dot j will be 1 you will get 3 cos of y plus k dot k will be 1 you will get 6 cos of x and then sine of y so this is our expression right which is given here and it is equal to 7 so can i write mod v1 dot v2 as mod of v1 multiplied by mod of v2 now this is really important because it is equal to 7 it is given and i can write 7 as mod of v1 into mod of v2 Achha, if the dot product are equal to their magnitude that means cos theta value will be here cos theta will be equal to 1 here if cos theta is equal to 1 this implies that theta will be equal to 0 here now this is really important here because if theta is equal to 0 we can solve this question very quickly because theta is equal to 0 means we, these two, the angle between these two vectors is 0 degree. Okay, now if the theta is 0, I think I can compare the coefficient of y, compare the coefficient of j and compare the coefficient of k here. So I can write this as sine of x, sine y divided by 2 is equal to cos of y divided by 3 is equal to, I can write cos of x, sine of y divided by 6 and all 3 will be equal they will mean proportionality now if you compare first and third as you can check here you compare first and third if i equate these two i think sine y sine y will cancel out from here i'll get tan of x as i think you can clearly see here i'll get tan of x as 1 by 3 here now once you get tan of x as 1 by 3 i think you can compare first and second okay because if tan of x is 1 by 3 you can easily calculate here so if you compare first and second so you'll get sine of y sine of y by cos of y will be tan of y here and tan of y will be equal to here it will be equal to 2 by 3 times 1 by sine of x and that will be equal to if tan of x is 1 by 3 you can make a triangle here and if x is 1 by 3 then the hypotenuse will be root over 10 here and if you put sine of x here, sine of x will be 1 by root 10. So this will be 2 root 10 divided by 3. Now once we have tan of x is 1 by 3 and 10y is 2 root 10 divided by 3, we can calculate 10 square x 
plus 2 10 square y. So 10 square x will be equal to here 1 by 9 here plus 2 10 square y. 10 square y will be 40 divided by 9 and multiplied by 2 I think we'll get 80 upon 9 here and that will be 81 upon 9. So 81 upon 9 is here 9. So 10 square of x plus 2 10 square y will be equal to 9. This is our final answer and that will be